Um, the second issue I want to talk about, I said both of both of my areas, immigration and trade, are uh, are very much uh, in play in Washington right now. So in in trade uh, policy, it's quite interesting. Um, the United States, as many of you know, for years has played a leading role in trade negotiations that have brought down tariffs and other trade barriers around the world. So the United States pushed for the conclusion of the Uruguay Round negotiations that created the World Trade Organization in 1994. Um, I actually covered those as a journalist. I spent a lot of time in Geneva talking to the negotiators, trying to find out what was going on. That agreement brought down tariffs all over the world, including very dramatically here in India. I mean, India's tariffs on imports have come down very steeply over the last decade and more as a result of this World Trade Organization uh, agreement. The United States has also negotiated many bilateral free trade arrangements. So, you know, we know about the, the NAFTA with Canada and Mexico. Uh, recently, the U.S. concluded a bilateral free trade agreement with Korea and has done so with many smaller countries. Uh, when President Obama came to office, he indicated that he did not particularly want to do more trade agreements, that that was not a priority of his presidency. So the amazing thing about the second term is that suddenly it has become a major priority of his presidency. And, and I think a lot of it had to do with the energy and initiative of other countries that have wanted to expand their trade ties to the United States. So the big negotiation that the U.S. is involved in right now is called the Trans-Pacific Partnership that some of you may have heard of. So this is a trade agreement that will lower trade barriers in the United States and 11 other countries in the Asia Pacific. It was started by a group of countries including Australia and New Zealand. The United States joined on. It includes Malaysia, Vietnam, Singapore, uh, and most recently uh, Japan and potentially Korea as well. The inclusion of Japan is very significant 